Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. We're currently in the midst of a medium sized UFO recovery mission. Which may be the toughest op we've yet encountered, frankly. I'm a little on the worried side. This is a big one, and I've heard some very worrying noise. So we've been approaching carefully, sweeping the approach. And we're not actually seeing all that much of anything at this point. Yet. There could be more around the sides. And I get the feeling there's aliens over there. There is some... There is a bit of solid cover. And I'm of a mind to send someone in there, perhaps activate running gun, then dash to this cover, in case we need it. Because I'm, but I'm nervous, we haven't, we still haven't swept the sides yet. The only thing that I consider legitimately good news is we have Sergeant Haddad, the only person who's got a nickname yet on our squad. He will be in an excellent firing position, because he has squad sight, so he can shoot anything that anybody sees. So if I get him on top of this and put him on oversight and put him on overwatch, then we'll have a good position to fall back. He's within sprinting distance of the uh, evac zone, and I'd like to keep him that way, so that in one turn we can evac if the situation goes really south, and I think it might. I'm not gonna lie here, I am nervous as hell about this, but I won't do to sit around. So I'm gonna post Sergeant Haddad up here. He can't overwatch this turn. Unless he does this. Well, it's better than... Actually, no, we'll just wait a turn. Sergeant will hunker this turn. Since he can't fire. And we'll continue advancing on the UFO and hope... Hope things are good. I'd like to clear out any contacts outside the UFO before proceeding in because that being of pure energy is actually a being of pure murder. <sighs> Makes me nervous as hell. That's the thing, do we bum rush the UFO with the people with actual grenades, like smoke grenades? I'm just not sure. Alright, let's continue the advance and see what we can do. I think we can do something here, yeah. Move up, Mr. Evans. Still a big giant nothing. Look at the size of this fucking thing! There have gotta be aliens out here. That's the edge of the map though, so it's not likely they're there. That's the Sky Ranger. But we may have to sweep. If we can clear out the UFO and they're still bad guys, I won't feel too bad about that. Alright, the rookies moved. I want to post you to Overwatch. Harris. Move up over here. We will continue a cautious advance. And we'll look over here to make sure there's nothing. If I can dash into full cover, I'll do it. Full cover on two sides, I like it. Get Pavlova, get over there, see what you can see. Which is nothing new. Uh oh. They're flanking us. Do you hear something? Uh, Enemies oh. I mean, aliens are bad, yeah. But the thing is, they saw us on their turn, which means they have to spend their whole turn getting into position. Mr. Haddad. 
This is kind of what I wanted to happen, actually. Fire as you please. Excellent work, sir. There's another one over there, but they had to spend their whole turn getting into cover. Which is a good thing. If they find you on their turn, that's good. Okay, we're redeploying the squad. There's good solid cover right over here. I kinda hope he doesn't take fire damage going through that. It's it looks like he actually can't go into places that are on fire. Which is an upgrade from the original where they would just run straight into there and and be derps. Okay, so having Haddad on the sniping position has already paid off big time. We can dash over there as well, which I think I'm gonna do. Next turn maybe run and gun at the thin man if we can do it. That looks like a door, but it looks busted, too. Uh, let's redeploy to face this new enemy. Yeah. We'll take it one thing at a time. Sutherland, you the one that was seen originally. So I'd like you to get to a good spot and then go to Overwatch. How about up there? Oh. That wasn't what I wanted to happen, really. He's gonna fire. Cover the fire. They're starting to lose ground. Oh, he's freaking out. I think he just panicked. Now, see, that's interesting. Ooh, a clear shot. Sergeant Haddad, as you please, I believe you're flanking him. Another clean kill. Nice. Man, those thin men make some creepy noises. I was expecting something like the C word to come out. Which they still could. But if the aliens want to come to us, I am cool with that. Let's sweep in this direction. There may be... There may be more. I'm perfectly happy to check this out before proceeding. can move up, because if I can get him into solid cover, I'll dash, or that's, that's just not a bad position generally. Go for that. See what you can see up there. Alright, a bit more. He's on the flanks. It's not really where I intended for you to go. Okay, you can get there in one turn, so if you see anything freaky, you can shoot. Nothing. Looks like another entrance to the UFO, maybe? And hopefully an edge of the map. I'll just post you on Overwatch this turn, so you don't get too ahead of things. Do I want him moving up? Yeah, right up here. Everybody just stay cool. We're still hearing bad things. This is a great position with squad sight. It's actually a really great position. And again, he can sprint to the evac area in one turn, so this is nice. And he's got good cover that he can run to if there's enemies on any particular side. It'll be hard to get him out of there, that's for sure. Also, he's probably he might pull a promotion to lieutenant this mission. Okay, so we've killed two already. I will hold his turn to the last. Without any additional info. I like this. Good cover on two sides. See what you can see, Svetlana. Okay, big lot of nothing. I'm probably not going to move her any further in that direction. Uh, 
poison cloud there. More ground. Holy shit, more ground. I hate this. Uh, let's check over there just to make sure, shall we? Did we reveal more of the map? Okay, so that is, in fact, the limits of the map. Very good. I'm gonna say let's hug the wall at least a little bit. Let's use our assault specialist to push up to see if we can see anything. We can dash to get into full cover. We have to activate run and gun before we move, that's the thing. Try over there. Yeah, do it. If you can't tell, I'm terrified of the being of pure energy. They tend to hit, and they tend to kill whatever they hit at this level. He can move in without wasting his full turn, which means if he can move there, he can probably move back in case something really bad comes up. Okay, still a whole lot of nothing. I'll post you to Overwatch. Okay, definitely just Overwatch this turn. If anybody sees anything, he'll have a shot, and he's pretty good at the shooting things. We've got noise. Inside, inside the vessel sounds like. Makes sense. Sounds like more thin men. Maybe. Is there a good solid cover up here? Yeah, there is actually cover a level here. What we could do is reposition our sniper. We could breach the UFO from the side. In fact, I like that, yeah. Svetlana, pull back, please. Well, at least we're facing the right direction. We should be able to see something. Like I said, I'd prefer for the aliens to see us, but that we are not always so fortunate. Alright, this counts as dashing, this counts as dashing. Uh, problem is, if I dash in there and the aliens are there, it's a problem. Although they don't tend to be on the very edges of the map. Let's advance to here, see what we can see. Still nothing. Okay. Okay, the plan is taking shape in my mind. I apologize for taking so long with this damn mission, but I don't want to die. We've killed two already. With zero losses. That's got to be impacting the aliens, morale. You can see... The Thin Men are supposed to be extra cool and composed, but you saw one freaking there, so... The morale's low. We haven't been hit yet, as far as I'm aware. Moving up here... He did hear it from inside the UFO, as I believe. Move up here, rookie. See what you can see with some better sight lines. Still nothing. That doesn't mean anything, though. You will please to stay on Overwatch. Eris. Uh... Move up and support. Right there is good. Full cover. I'm quite glad I got the five squad mates this time. Okay, is everybody off our left flank now? But Svetlana is moving quickly that way. They're gonna 
find us. I hope they do. We no longer have line of sight regarding the ship itself. Uh, I might post someone to stay on the flank and watch it for a while. Maybe up here? Just so we see if anyone tries to move through here, although they, they might not. Move him up slightly. Hunker down. Actually, go ahead and reload on this turn. Ready to rock. Because the next turn he'll be ready to fire with his full magazine. Okay, I like this cover. Uh, and if you see anything, we've got troops ready to move up. Go ahead, move, Rookie. Okay, that's the boundary of the map. I feel safe pronouncing that there's no aliens behind us. See if I'm right. Looks like I've got to be right. Okay, this is where we'll enter the UFO, though, definitely. Set up the squad to guard the approach. He's moved, he's moved. We do have at least one person on our watch. Alright. Paula, please. Please move. Uh Tree's got solid cover. Go for it. Solid cover and a good line of sight. disturbing sign to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine oh. begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Oh my. Well that's sure interesting. You seriously can't see them? Move up so you can please. Now? Three of them right there in the open. They're all flanked. Shoot anyone you like. Just kill them. No longer a threat. That's one I saw it explode. Headshot, please. Excellent. That's two. X-ray neutralized. Okay, now we think. You've got one. It's not the best shot in the universe. You could move up for an even better shot, I think. I hope. Ah, oh, slightly better. At least you have cover now. Is it freaking? Alright, zero targeting possibilities. Rookie move up to the full cover. See, sometimes aliens will just appear like that because basically they're patrol groups. Teleport around the map every couple turns, I believe. Okay, you're not directly flanking him, which means he's not directly flanking you. Okay, let's see if we can come through on the next hit, please. 
there. That's a lot of bull. Let's take a risk to get into a firing position. Didn't work. Well then get up here for your turn. Left. I'm hoping he freaks the... Sounds Look like, yep, he's up. freaking the fuck out. Well, we can't penetrate their shield yet, so if they were drawn through there, then... That's about the final word, it seems like. Those were some good solid hits. Everyone's looking good. What his stats actually are at this point? Damn good ground, yeah. In addition to usual elevation bonuses. Move up over there. I see him. I don't suppose we could fire through that thing. Oh, we can. Nice. Excellent shooting. Okay, so that's a floater group down. We just happen to be in a perfect position to pick them off. That's five enemies down. And I'm hoping that's the worst that we have to encounter in there. Sprint you into full cover. It's half cover, but there's a bit of elevation there. In the next turn, I can get you. Ah, this tree is damn good ground. I may just keep him there on Overwatch. Alright, I can get Daring, dash him right up to the edge of his sight limit dare the aliens to come out. What is this man's sight range? Well, the answer is, whatever the squad sees, he sees, and he can shoot as long as he's got a line on it. Although he should probably be relocating, yeah. It is, I can barely see it. Okay, we'll continue approaching this cautiously. Nobody's even taken a shot yet. We'll continue to group up. Get behind good solid cover. Full cover is nice. We could dash up to the UFO this turn, but I think I'll save that. Keep the rookie on Overwatch. He's got good ground. Move our assault specialist up. See what he can see. Which is nothing so far. Perhaps it's freaking out a little bit. Some good fortune, that'll be it. Although I doubt it with something this huge. So I love the name of this um, brutal priest. Okay, Sergeant Haddad. I'd like you to reposition yourself. Somewhat. To a position like... In this area. That way you can assist the squad during the breaching. Yeah. Go ahead and sprint your full turn. Anywhere I can put you that has, like, cover? That has full cover. Oh no, that has half cover. That's full cover. Go for it, Sergeant.
counts as dashing. Anything up to the UFO counts as dashing. That's full cover, but it's pointed the wrong way. There. I like there. Stick to your cover. Okay, the edge of the map. Finally. Holy shit. And that's a definite way in. This UFO got fucked up. I'm hoping there's still lots of goodies available, though. Okay, I want to keep our support person here. I'll just post her to... She's got good sight range. I'll just post her to watch this turn. Full cover. Still nothing. That's full cover. I don't hear anything more. It doesn't prove much in this situation, frankly. yourself behind full cover. Looks like we're just about set up to attack the UFO itself. Uh, we'll hold for the rest of the squad on this, I think. Maybe get him up to... No, this is fine. Just keep overwatching on that spot. Evans, you keep overwatch as well. You're not likely to do much damage at that range. Because this is the very edge of the map, I will remind you. Go right there. Alright, it looks like the map runs around the back. That's the core. Pretty sure where that's where the bad man comes from. So if we can bunch up and get ready to give that the bum rush, or is that just one engine? These alien designs, I can never tell. Okay, is she now the flank of the entire formation? Okay, she's uh, as she is becoming accustomed to the flank of our formation. Uh, this turn she'll move. She's got the stun though. Let's stack her up against the UFO. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. No kidding. Get up there and overwatch, please. So someone's supporting our assault specialist. <laughs> that sound? I didn't actually hear anything. Interesting. The engine is exposed. Just exposed right to space. That's a big fucking UFO. Clearing UFOs was never fun. <laughs> okay, but we got this everyone. This is gonna be by far our longest mission to date in terms of time taken. There's goodies involved, though. They move there, and next turn he'll be in a position to fire in support. Definitely heard something from over there. Move up slowly. We want to be ready to give the being of pure derp with the bum rush, or at least run in here on the actual turn we provoke it, and I don't know if that means moving any closer is a good idea. Ok, 
Okay, we've covered a lot of ground. And we're firmly outside the range of evac now, I will note. Not a fan of that. Dash to this position. It's probably where I'll post the sniper eventually. He might even be able to fire into the craft with all the holes and bullshit. No opening that door. Heard it again. Inside the UFO, definitely. What the hell was that? I'd rather fight the being of pure energy by itself with nothing else there. Mr. Hadad, actually, do I want you right there or do I want you? I think up here might be nice. He'll see everything. You've got the frag grenades, so. It's definitely from inside the UFO. People with stun should be right at the front. We might need to just give the thing the bump rush. Okay, next turn the sniper is ready to fire. A good solid cover. So if all else fails, we kill the being of pure derp outright. He's got the stuns too. Okay, move up to here. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, is it not going to produce a being a pure derp? Is that only the core? Which, by the way, that looks strongly like the entire center of the craft. And we shouldn't enter right next to the core then, because liable to explode and I I want the stuff that it has. Overwatch. Look. It's kind of uneven terrain. Alright, stack up for breaching then. That wall's solid at least. I'm hoping the close quarters will let us get the jump on that thing. We didn't hear anything. That means they're moving. But like I said, alien groups could just teleport onto us since we're taking so long in this situation. Okay, he should have a clear line of sight to shoot inside the UFO, but I'm not too confident about that. In any case, he'll be watching our flank out here. Let's wait until everyone else has had their turn. Okay, let's find all our squad mates. There's three... Okay, four here. They're in a tight formation. They're good for covering each other. Everybody's got their abilities all charged up. Let's move in. Harris, go in first, please. Yeah, stack up on the door for next turn. Stack up right there. side of the door. Go to overwatch. Prepare to breach next turn. She should be looking in there, right? Mr. Sutherland, I want you ready as well. None 
of this counts as dashing. Just move up to here. Our salt specialist, of course. Right against the door. Next turn we move. Again, apologies, but this is taking like forever. Got something. What's making that noise? From the direction of the engine compartment. We should probably investigate that first. Uh, it could be right in there. Love to know what's making that noise. To the full cover up there, nothing. Overwatch from that position. Pretty sure, yeah. These are still the people with stuns. Okay. Let's be ready to move, people. Should I use my running gun and then move in just in case? Should we move in? Gosh. Move in. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. You got it, Doctor. Yeah, and the clock.